All right, guys, so it's a pretty exciting day here at Tide Out Iguana. The sibling to the giant day gecko baby that hatched out a few days ago has hatched out himself. So we're gonna go check that out. All right, the sibling has hatched. It's gonna take it. it hasn't even done its post hatch shed yet. Oh, it's in there. Barely see it. Trick is getting this one in here without the other one getting out. Well, the other one went to hide, so, and I see him right now. I see one little eyeball. Mm -hmm. A little laugh if he runs on your hand again. See the little eyeball in the corner there? <laughs> yeah. They grow fast. So little. Oh, look, he's got the yolk he dropped. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I mean, he was ready. He came out on his own. So. Mm -hmm. so the babies will stay in this tank in our warehouse for a couple of weeks, at least until they start eating on their own and everything, until we see them actively eating and stuff then we'll know that they're ready to go out for sale. All right, so that baby looks pretty darn cute. And uh, we still have about, let's see, they laid three clutches so far, two have hatched out. So we've got four more babies that'll be coming. So let's go take a peek at those eggs and see what's grown inside them. All right, so here we have our two egg cups of the giant day gecko eggs. We got one from the second and one from the 22nd. So we're going to go ahead and candle these guys today and see how they're doing. All right, so we're going to use our little flashlight. Be very gentle with the eggs. The eggs are stuck together, actually. So these are the ones from the second. Ooh, they're pretty full. Ooh, you can see a little baby in there. Ooh, he's moving around in there. He's on the move. All right, guys. So a little bit of bad news. Uh, I'm taking out the ones from the 22nd and the smell is pretty bad. So I'm thinking these guys aren't going to be fertile, but we can candle them just to see. Oh, I am not seeing anything. Yeah, if you can see, I'm shining the light through and I am not seeing anything in these eggs, unfortunately. Usually when they're yellow and you don't see any kind of pink spot on them at all, that usually means they're infertile. And they stink too, so I think those are bad. All right guys, so the good news is that I think we got two more good eggs that have babies inside them in the second clutch. But the bad news is that the third clutch looks like it might be infertile. But that's okay, that does happen, even though those guys breed a lot. Uh, not every clutch a lizard is going to produce is going to be fertile. But yeah, hopefully in about a month from now, we'll have two more little babies from that second clutch. And yeah, maybe soon if you come by the store, you'll see the first two babies out for sale. So thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you next time.